for the Kings in the last 13 games. So looking at Jason Kadir winning to step up as Randall with a nice little hesitation move baseline. Sign of the desperation. And here's that move by Randall again. Nearly just getting caught too close into the feet of Jerome Randall. And an 18 on Monday against oh, Cairns. Ferguson looks good. Oh, boy. Chuck off down, step out of three, and he just calmly puts up another double. That arena. Sobey. What a season he's had. Kadee's on the move. Oh, great pass. Oh. Even better rejection. Doing a great job of this for the Adelaide 36ers over the last three or four rounds. Good job again. Hudson getting it out to Randall. Sobey's ready for him, but Randall says, I'm going alone. Look, exceptional pull up. They're, they're not at their best at the moment. It's such a tight oh. season. That man's in his best though. Look, at this had all the sauce. Little behind the back move straight at the rim, up and under. Jerome Randall putting on a show for Titanium Security Arena. Those inbound plays, making sure that someone else advances the ball up the court. Ferguson, what an athlete he is. And they're staying in touch, the Kings, although Sobey. Down into the paint for the easy two. Great persistence. Scoring. Middle over 23 points already. There it is again. So we just got great position there. Just took that spin move right into the chest. No defense over the past five games. Tees points in for his first points of the night. And the key. Down to the last two minutes. Randall's doing it again. And DJ gets involved. That's a fantastic pass there by Terence Ferguson. The second quarter before half time. Randall. And there go it is. Without scoring in a quarter. Randall so often will go solo in this circumstance. Toying with Kadee, takes the big outside oh, look jumper. Out. Look out, he only needs to see it go in one time. Sobey was just passing by. 150 tonight after a long layoff. Oh. Penetrating into those lanes, forcing defenders to come and help as Mitch Creek with a little up fake and finish off the glass. Part of that is due to the work that they're doing on the glass and what a catch and finish by Jerome Randall in traffic. They're very much a chance with a home crowd behind them. And a nice sweet shot from Jacobson to start things off. Randall got the protection he needed from Jacobson. Oh, good. And that was all. And in a flash, Adelaide are right back in this. Sensing that this thing could turn quickly. Jacobson takes on Pound knowing that he's got four fouls and couldn't do much about that. Good protection of the ball. Tease just had time to get it away. Johnson, tough stuff. And that's what that's what Joey Wright and these 36 fans want to see out of Daniel Johnson. Q Jerome Randall. Oh, get up. Oh, and he rolls into two, Ferguson. The game, you have to find him in transition with his feet on that three-point line. He's up to 16, so he floats one in off the glass. What can they put together? Oh, what oh. about that? Jerome Randall takes the rainbow. Ferguson can do plenty. He hands it off to Creek in the perfect place. Great little find that time. Here's the Jerome Randall floater in the lane. And then Johnson on the defensive end. This is what Joey Wright would have been calling for in the first three quarters. Someone to stand up defensively. Single figures. So oh, he's showing dribble. all that athleticism. And helped in the skipper's back. Mitch Creek. Adelaide are back. Don't want to give up top spot on the NBL ladder. Randall had it, lost it, got it again. Shot clock down to eight. Happy to share the sugar with Daniel Johnson. And we are tied up at 77 apiece. That was just an incredible find by Jerome Randall, drawing two defenders and perfectly weighted into Daniel Johnson. Lish trying to penetrate hard. 
Oh. It turned it. Randall. Oh. Shelby! Gotta love the energy out of that Adelaide 36's bench after that finish by Sobey. They're all on their feet, they're all out there on the floor congratulating him. They know how big this game is. Sobey. The play design. Can they execute? Ferguson, it'll go to Jerome. It has to. Oh no! No, no is the answer. Oh, Powell down the court, adventurous pass. And he realizes that he didn't need to do that. And he, I think he heard that shot clock go off and he thought that was the end of the game. He's launched it up the end of the four. And unknowingly, he's given the 36ers another shot at this. And Andrew Gaze is already gray enough, but that's the sort of stuff that must do your head in as a coach. Sydney 80, Adelaide getting a chance on 79, a second chance they didn't look like getting just a few moments ago. So they've had the rehearsal. Now for the real thing for Adelaide. Eight seconds to get one last glorious shot up. And another professional foul there yep. by Jason Kiddie. Just doesn't want Randall to feel comfortable with the ball before attempting that final shot. One second eroded. We know where they're going to go. It's just, how do they get it to him? Or does Johnson take it on? And Powell's been caught for the foul. That's his fifth. And he's going to send Daniel Johnson to the line. Wow, that is a massive pull. Four seconds remaining. They didn't go to Randall. Instead, it was Johnson. Maybe a little misdirection there by Joey. They only needed the two points to get the advantage. Went inside to Daniel Johnson when everyone else was expecting the ball to be in the hands of Jerome Randall. And it's worked. He's at the foul line. He's got a chance to put him back in front. He was only 50-50 from the free throw line tonight until then. At the death, Daniel Johnson. It's in! It's in! Another timeout. One more last play to decide this contest. And Adelaide are in front now. Can Sydney come up with a miracle? You love that from Daniel Johnson. Just ice in the veins. He's comfortable here at Adelaide Arena. No smile, calm as you like. Wanders his way back to the bench. There's more work to be done. Can you hear us, Josh? Yes. Look for three pin downs here for Kevin Leash. Andrew Gaze wants to put the ball in the hands of his best player in the MVP. All right, that makes sense. To underline his greatness, will it be Leash? Got to get the ball inbounded. Oh. Offensive foul call. A disaster for the Kings, who can't believe it. And of course, it's their fearless leader, Mitch Creek, who comes up with the play. Little frustration here by Lish, just unable to get that inbounds and plow through the back of Mitch Creek. And look. For mine, that's the correct call. He dropped his shoulder into the back of Mitch Creek that time. Massive call. And you could see what it meant to the Adelaide 36ers. Only two seconds on the clock. And who would have thought it? the Adelaide 36ers who were sitting bottom of the ladder at the beginning of round seven. Now potentially... I'm going to head straight to the top of the NBL ladder. Just one press line out. Here, everybody. 
back. No, everybody back. So you heard the instructions, everybody else back. Sobey to make it a three-point ball game. And then Sydney with a split second to get the ball down the court and get a shot up. He misses. One shot. All right, show hands on D, guys. To make sure. Beautiful. This game has had so many twists and turns. Surely there's not still one ahead in the last two seconds. Sydney need a miracle. Newly, newly. Sixers have come from the bottom of the pile, and on this big Friday night, they are on top of the world. What a game of NBL basketball! You just have to love this young Adelaide 36ers squad, just continually, night after night, saluting the doubters and saying, come at us, see if you can stop us. And in the year of the sporting underdog, who knows, maybe Jerome Randall, who's the Lambox player of...